Hi guys, this is Alex from Top Tennis Training and I'm here with WTA player Emily Webley-Smith. She's going to be helping us uh, with a few videos to help you with your game. In this video we're going to look at the women's forehand, how it's evolving and why. We're going to try and break it down to help you uh, improve your forehand so hopefully you'll have the edge over your opponents. So throughout history traditionally the women's forehand has always been you know to take the racket back quite far. Uh, sometimes even the racket face would go behind the body and then you'd have a really flat kind of racket face going through the shot almost like in a linear path of the racket uh, and then they finish off. How has that changed? I think as, as the women have improved athletically yeah. um, and the courts have also got a little bit slower with time, um, I think the girls are recognising that um, with different builds um, and the different body types that you get in tennis, not everybody can hit the ball like that. Yeah. Um, and the younger players coming through are starting to use more spin to take their opponents off court with ways and expose the movement of the other players with also giving them the safety over the net by using a little bit more spin. So that top spin allows the ball to dip once the ball goes over the net. It allows the player to dip the ball to make sure that it creates that angle, makes the opponent run and makes it very difficult to defend against. The flatter hitters usually go a little bit more through the middle of the court, uh, not quite creating quite as much angle. They try to uh, beat the opponent more with power rather than with precision in the angles. So seeing how the game has changed, obviously the women are starting to use a lot more angles now and therefore that forehand has started to adapt technically and this is something we're going to look at today. So Emily, let's try and look at some key steps that uh, our viewers can follow uh, to improve their forehand and try and make it that WTA, the, the modern WTA forehand. So what would be the first thing that you do when, the ball, when you see the ball coming towards you? What would be the first phase of your forehand? As you're preparing for the ball, the right hip opens and the left shoulder turns facing the court. It's very similar to the ATP style forehand where you get the left arm coming across your body and then the, the racket face is almost pointing away from you and it's, everything's happening to the right side of the body. As you come through the ball, the, the left foot will step into the court, still in a semi-open stance position and the wrist drops under the racket in order to get the spin that we're talking about. So here you see a nice wrist lag. With Emily, she has the racket lagging behind and the back cap is pointing towards the ball. As you hit through the ball, the racket drops under the ball in order to come through. The left hand tucks underneath and the body rotates round. So you can see how this allows for much greater spin so as the racket generates from underneath the ball and she's able to whip that wrist around and finish all the way up. So usually what would we be seeing uh, with the standard uh, WTA forehand? I think in the past you'll see a lot more uh, women shaping up for the ball with a more closed stance as opposed to where we were earlier with the semi-open stance and as the racket's taken back it's facing the side more rather than the closed racket face that we saw before. So on the flatter forehand, the racket's more open, the shoulders are equally as turned. So as you come through the ball, there's, there's less wrist dropping behind the ball, which means that the contact on the ball is, is a lot flatter than we showed previously. Yeah, and then the extension through the ball means that the ball coming is, is travelling through a little bit more flatter. So with that shot, the ball will be travelling a lot lower over the net, there's uh, less margin for error uh, and the shot becomes a lot riskier. So that's why it has been adapted to the new kind of forehand that we see a lot more often in, uh, in ATP. We talked about being semi-open on those shots, or even open uh, stance shots. What are the advantages, what are the benefits to a player hitting more open stance? I think it gives you a stronger base, so yeah. you're more balanced as you come into the shot. And by opening up your hips slightly at the beginning, it allows you to cre create a stable base to hit off.
Um, it also allows the body to rotate more clearly around the ball, um, which allows for greater power. So if you think about it guys, if I'm in this situation, if I'm in a position where I'm in a neutral stance and I try and put my right shoulder as much as I can, I'm going to be restricted to as ha how far I can go. Whereas if I'm a little bit more open, I'm now able to rotate completely. I can even show you my back if I want to. So it allows that better rotation, better torque uh, with the body uh, and obviously creates much better speed and actually better racket speed for those top spin shots. What this stance actually does, it actually allows you to have a closer contact point so it allows you to generate that topspin a little bit more easier. Whereas if you're in a neutral stance, you have to always hit the ball in front of you, and the moment you're a little bit late, it's very difficult to generate the topspin up. So you're able to hit a lot closer to the hip, so then the racket can come straight up, and you can still maintain that shape of the shot. There's also an element of disguise where the opponent can't tell where you're going due to how you're hitting it. So with the later contact point, at the last minute, you can go line, cross, angle, wherever you want. Whereas with the original stance that we were talking about before, more closed, it's pretty clear from the other end which way you're going to hit the ball. So thank you guys for watching. That was the secrets of the future WTA forehand. We talked about the stance, we talked about the preparation before the ball, and we talked about the racket going through with a little bit more topspin that's allowing those players to win more matches. Have fun learning it at home, and we look forward to helping you tactically in the next video. Do you want to take your tennis game to the next level? Our free course, Play Tennis Like the Pros, will help you to do just that. Inside the course, you will learn the fundamentals of each stroke and how to master them. So click the link under this video right now to get started. See you inside.